I'm Damon Zell, and this is your Eve Echoes Weekly News Update, where we take a deep dive into all the happenings of the week. But first, if you can tag that subscribe button, ring that bell, share and like the video, then you can stay up to date with everything that this channel has to offer. Now, we do have a lot to dig into this week. We got the patch notes. We have the Splendid Coupon uh, controversy going on. We have the new trash module to talk about, which I've already talked about in the last video, but we're going to talk about it more here. We're also going to talk about the new road to set sail thing that's going on uh, as well that they didn't tell us about. But first, let's dive right into the patch notes for the week of uh, March 9th, 22. Okay. We're going to talk about those other things after the patch notes. Let's get the patch notes out of the way. Of course, one is everyone's favorite. Say it with me now. Updated the estimated prices based on the successful transactions in the market. You know what? I should talk to Rambo and uh, Space Karen and see if we can work that into a new song for uh, for New Eden to go along with, you know, Fountain, You're Letting Me Down. Number two, batch investigation can now be implemented on multiple ancient ruins. Thank the Lord for that. Imagine having 3,000 ancient remains. Why would you want to? Because there's nothing actually noteworthy in the the store, the Museum Arcana for it. But, you know, at least now you don't have to go one by one. You can do whole batches of these ancient remains. Number three. There is no 24-hour limit for returning capsuleers to rejoin a corporation for the first time. So if you are, I don't know, kicked or you leave the corporation for whatever reason... You don't have to wait that full 24 hours to jump right back in again. Um, or uh, to to switch from corporations. Say you're moving from one corporation to another. You don't have to wait that 24 hours in that gray status. Preventing you from playing out here in Null. Because, you know, if it's not blue, you shoot it. Number four. They adjusted the Omega reward for day seven and Alpha reward for day eight in the pilot cultivation program. Now this one is... is a godsend and I know it is uh, one of the most quality of life things that a lot of people have been asking for number five they optimize the planetary mining it's easier to extend the mining time for multiple planets now so basically when you click that first planet so you got five planets uh, you click that first one to extend the time it will ask you if you want to do a shortcut and extend all the times you just click that and then all your times across all the planets are gonna be extended you don't have to click each one individually going back and forth so it's the little things, right? Number six, they adjusted the upgrade feature for a cosmic anomaly. Invisible players won't be counted for the upgrade. So it's going to upgrade on its own. You don't have to have someone sitting in the system, you know, to make sure that it upgrades. It's just going to do it. Number seven, they optimized the destroy feature. When destroying a ship, only the ship and its rigs will be destroyed while its cargo, modules, and drones will be moved uh, to the station hangar. So, as one way of cleaning up, you know, some of that unwanted clutter that you have in some of these stations. Uh, I'll give my left leg for some station containers right now. Uh, currently, right now, I'm using little ships just to organize. Just put it in those cargoes. But uh, you're on the risk then of, uh, you know, taking out a ship, not realizing what's in the cargo, and then dying and then losing everything. But... Hopefully, sometime in the future, we will get station containers. And if you are noticing, I'm a little pe peppy. Yes, I am still only getting my hour and a half daily regimen of sleep. Today is my Friday, so I have tonight off, so I get to sleep like a normal human being. But I'm also enjoying my first cup of coffee today. So, yay. All right, number eight. Adjusted the repackage feature. Ships and nanocores can't be repackaged if multiple items are selected at a time. Number nine. Optimize the failed login prompt. Now, obviously, we always have to fix the bugs because there's many of them. Uh, they only fixed one this week. It says they fixed the issue where the filter on a combat log wasn't displayed. And there you go. That's your patch notes for the week of March 9th, 22. But let's dig into this controversy of the Splendid Coupon Store first. Because that, that's one of the first things they put on the patch notes before they actually give us the patch notes. But let's talk about it. Now, on... Uh, a while back, the last week of February, they put out a tweet. Uh, they were telling everyone, oh, you got to spend your coupons. you got to spend your coupons because the store is going away forever. And then, you know, if you want anything, you got to get it now. Uh, as you see right here through the tweets, says, you know, come get it. Um, but only for them to reopen it two weeks later when everyone doesn't have any more splendid coupons if you've already spent it. Or if you're like me and lazy and forgot, you just have your stockpile because you really didn't give a crap about it. But the official statement is, 
after maintenance on March 9, 22 until March 30th of 22, we reopened the Splendid Coupon Store. Coupons can be obtained through the Ship Rental Project and in-store purchases. New Wave Graph Packs and Auto Salvagers can be purchased through the store. Battleship Nanocores, Player Skin Op Boxes, and Classified 2 Gravitational Wave Graphs are available with a 10% limited time discount. After the adjustment, the chance of obtaining a Classified 2 Gravitational Wave Graph from Secret Traffic Container has been increased. And you can see where it's going. We're going to go right from the coupons right into the Auto Salvage Trash that they gave us. But let's talk about the coupon store here. So... If you've watched or followed any of the other content creators, you, you've heard everyone bitch about this. And Benji has taken it personally because he's basically given his word to his viewer, his viewers of saying, yeah, you know, trust them, they're, they're, it's going away, spend all your shit. And uh, yeah, it made him look bad. Now, I'm going to peel back the curtain in the content creator section so you can see some announcements that was given to us by the devs themselves to explain exactly what happened here. And, and you're going to see how both of these, the Auto Salvager and the Coupons, are, are intimately tied together. Because in the Coupon Store, you can get that first Dust Crap module uh, for, I believe it's 50,000, uh, is either 50 or 40,000 uh, coupons right off the bat. That's the 7.5 kilometer range one. But And I'm going to, even though this might piss Benzie off, and I know I do have a good working relationship with him, you know, for content creation and collaborations like that. But I want to show you guys how he does go to bat for you. And that he is not just, you know, sucking it up for NetEase and championing their cause. He, he basically he's basically stated here, NetEase lied to us on February 24th. They encouraged us all to spend our coupons as the store was going away. And then he talks about the module, which we're going to get to later. But from that... The dev actually answered this back saying that the developer forgot to explain on the store interface what will happen after the store is closed. It will be open again after a period of time or will never be open. And what will happen uh, if the money is not spent? He goes on to say that the media staff sent an unupdated message. This error has already occurred and we can discuss more ways to compensate. If you didn't spend money at the store in February, what would you buy in the store? Now, there are seven items that are common items or materials, which were also available before. One item is the most common salvager, that's that dust salvager, which item uh, makes you feel better now than in February. Or because of the mistake uh, reminder that the player's purchase in February is not in line with the player's own wishes or habits. And number uh, two, he's out. Uh, he said, we will carefully consider your comments on the range of the salvager regarding chips, uh, it would be strange, uh, like now, if not an additional direct uh, redemption method. Uh, it is not the store that costs AUR, but in-game currency such as. So they're basically they're 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 backing up their stance on it, but they do admit that it was their problem that they did not let us know what was going on with the coupon store, that it was going to be coming back, and that they shouldn't have encouraged you to spend all your all your stuff. Now, in another message. He, uh, Cloud also stated that for the next update at about March 23rd, coupons will leave the store entirely. And after the coupon store leaves New Eden on March 30th, any unspent coupons will be recycled. We will announce it a dozen hours before the update. The coupon store will not be updated and only support seven common items as February and one Savager as the new gift. So that's why they gave you that 20,000, you know, uh, coupon. It should have been. It should have been more, but like they are acknowledging, they are trying to take steps to say, hey, yeah, you know what, we were in the wrong. Here's a little. Here's a little gesture of that. But I know it doesn't help those that have spent, you know, multiple thousands of coupons on those nanocores. So, the store is here. You have it for another month. So, I don't. When they say recycled, I don't mean. I don't know if they mean they're going to hold it on your account until it comes back around next year. Um, but. You, at least you now know that there are going to be messages about what's going to happen with your leftover coupons, when, what's going on with the store before the store actually goes away. You know. And now we're going to move into the Auto Salvager, the Hot Trash Module. And the reason I call it the Hot Trash Module is because it is absolute garbage. Seriously. It's, it's the first one it gives you, without skills, 7.5 kilometers. Now, your loot range is 10 kilometers. Why would I want to use this? Why would I want to give up a mid-slot? If I'm doing T10 anomalies, right? Um, say I'm working on, I'm just going to say the Hyperion, and I, you guys can roast me for you want on this. I know uh, I usually use my Apoc Striker. That's why I was like, I was, I was actually excited 
when they initially told us about this because originally it was said it was 100 kilometers. So I can come in at range with my APOC striker, lay waste to the entire field and auto loot from 100 kilometers away. I wouldn't have to, you know, shoot back down to the wrecks to loot. But they changed it, said it was a typo, and the first one is 7.5 kilometers, the other one's 10, the other one's 13.5. Um, I'm putting them up on the screen, but I'm not looking at them right now. I'm recording. But you get you get the gist of this. Now, the other salvagers, the Galante salvager, the ore salvager, can only be found in these anomalies that you have to use the, you know, classified to gravitational wave to find. Now, the only problem with that is you got to spend the coupons or the real ISK, and currently, the real ISK value of these classified two gravitational wave graphs um, are around 340 million ISK per use. And you get the RNG uh, when you do these that it's going to be in the boxes. You may, now, obviously, you can get other things such as B-type weapons and modules and, and such. I did one last night um, or this morning a few hours ago. Time blends when you work overnight. But I did one uh, to help out a... Alliance member last night and these are rough if you're not a multi-boxer you know you have to go through about five different rooms to get to get to the the good stuff and wave after wave of all these battleships and everything else that are, that are smacking you and you need an actual fleet if you do not multi-box so as a single player uh, how are you supposed to get these well unless you're running a super tanked you know uh, faction battleship but I'm getting off the topic here. Okay, so the classified two gravitational wave graphs are 340 million isk. You know, if you don't have the coupons to buy it. So you use that. You go into the the anomaly. Say you have your fleet or your multi box, and you do this. Now, also in there, you have the chance to get the other good salvagers, but the skill chips, which are a rare drop. Now, these skill chips will extend the range uh, once you skill into them and you apply them to yourself. Will extend the range of the. Um, the salvagers themselves. I think the top, once you're skilled fully into it, the ore salvager, you can actually um, salvage from 30 kilometers away, which it's better. It's better. It's 30 kilometer away, so you don't have to be on top of it. So, but really, the only real use for this is someone that's going to be running as a loot master uh, to divvy up all the, the stuff, unless you, again, are multi boxing, which I know a lot of you do. So, you don't have coupons. You need this. So, what are you to do you well you have to swipe your credit card it's a paywall it's a paywall to get this it's a paywall to get the skill chips and for what it's it's gonna save you if you're only running one it's not gonna save you any time you'd have to w load up on a few of these to actually save time as you're going but as getting back to me doing the hyperion like why would i want uh, if, why would i want to sacrifice say uh an additional web or you know a nos something like that in in favor of just auto looting as I'm going it, it just doesn't make sense to me now what I do suggest is holding off and hopefully they don't screw it up come May with the industrial uh, update we are going to give us the MTUs that's the the mobile tractor unit now what this unit unit does is you launch it into space and it's going to just tractor beam all the wrecks and bring it right to that mobile unit now in that instance then maybe the auto looter would be some you know uh, worth it at that point um, I mean, in a perfect world, what I'd love to see him do is use this mobile tractor unit to bring all the wrecks, empty all the wrecks into the tractor unit itself, and then once you, once you, you know, collect that mobile tractor unit, you have everything that was in all the wrecks. I mean, that in a, that would be sublime, that would be beautiful. Devs, if you listen to the show, which I know you never do, but if you do, please use that as inspiration for the update coming up. Now, the community's outrage about this paper. And just to give you an idea, um, I, I did take some screenshots when the um, when they first dropped the modules. But let's take a look at the skill chips because it's very hard to see sometimes if these skill chips are on the market. Um, currently, right now, there is no advanced auto salvagery technology level three chip on the market. It's not even there. There was some experts, which yep, there's one left on the marketplace, and it's 5.9 billion for this. Now, before all of you drop the money on this. And it's very important that you listen to me on this. It's very important. Um, the devs have gone on record to us. And I don't know if I'm going to get in trouble for showing this, but fuck it, I'm going to do it anyway. The lead, uh, the game designer Cloud states, We've been receiving a lot of suggestions lately, 
And to make the pilot PvE experience even better, we're considering a massive increase in the range of all salvagers in an upcoming balance patch, which doesn't require skills and will be very useful. So there you go right there. They're going to update the range on these auto salvagers, and you don't need the skill chip, so save your money. Do not buy these, you know, these chips unless, you know, you not like me and, and have tons and tons of this. And if you do have tons and tons of this, please feel free to tip your fellow news managers. Just con make a contract out to Damon Space Zell in game. I would love a, love you for it. Hey, how you doing? He goes on to say that chips are not limited time and necessary items. This time as an additional random gift. Uh, there will be more free gameplay ways to get it later. So they're telling you right there, you don't have to spend your money on these. It's it's just a waste of isk right now for a broken module that's not even worth it. Now, COD does go on to say that we hope we uh, you can convey our apologies uh, to your friends. Now, we are, I, I guess I am allowed to show you this. So we will consider adding more exploration gameplay and the gravitational wave to graphs might be exchanged in other stores after the Splendid Store and pilots with higher technology levels will not be too difficult to obtain because the illegal gang has many T6 accounts. So there will be different... So basically they're saying they, they, they don't want to gate this underneath T6 because of all the botters that run the ratting fleets with, uh, with scripts. And number two, while the dust is cheap to buy with ISK, it can also be useful. It was set to 7.5 kilometers because we worry about new pilots and players who rely solely on salvage for a living. Now it seems that we are overthinking it. You think? I think you did. I think you did put a little bit too much uh, juice on this here. It states that that would be unfair to a lot of people who spend a lot of ISK on chips. My point to make dust more useful without chips, not hurt players who buy them. So, there you go. That's the whole thing about the chips right now. The Splendid Coupon Store, the Auto Salvager Hot Trash Module, and uh, the paywall behind all of it. Now, let's move on to the dev Q&A questions for the week of March 2nd through March 8th. Now, the first question reads, Would love to know if the devs are considering increasing exploration data and relic sites, since as of now they are extremely few and respawns are very slow around four days. Now, we've complained about this since they brought it out. A lot of us um, content creators, we do have, you know, limited time. So some of us do like the exploration aspect. And me, I'm a jack of all trades, so I dabble into just about everything I can when I'm not killing people in space. But, yeah, it's, you can go, you know, a few hours without even finding anything. And it is very frustrating for those players who do not have a lot of time to jump into the game and spend, you know, X amount of hours trying to find a data site. You know, some people just want to jump on, play for 20 minutes, do one data site. Anyway, the devs answer, currently we would not consider adjusting the respawn speed of data and relic sites. We don't want to reduce the rarity of the integrated rigs because the additional of relic sites. So, yeah, as you see, it just falls on deaf ears. The second question, hi, would it be possible to allow for a little bit of uh, personalization of each player's character page? Uh, that when you click on another player in game, you can get a better idea of uh, what he or she likes or is like. And the devs answer back, it says, we're redesigning the name card and character page. As you said, our goal is to fully personalize the name card and make it easier for people to know each other. At the same time, we also want to make sure that the name card is more precise and well presented. There is a chance that this feature will be released in the second half of the year. So, another thing to look forward to. And, and I do say, you know, we, we do uh, we do knock NetEase for some of the content drought. And they release everything in these big, big batches. But I would love for them to just, like, sprinkle some nuggets here and there. You know, only each month, maybe a little balanced update in one month, followed up by a little content change. Just, just something to keep it fresh and not have to wait months and months and months for the hope that something's going to be good. All right, the next question is, is it possible to have fuel remaining indicator in a capsular outpost like a corporation outpost has in the manage menu? And they just say, thank you for your suggestion. We will include this feature in our current plan. If you didn't know, they are doing a, a big plan for outposts. There is going to be a structure update at some point where you're actually going to be able to get skins for your citadels and your outposts. And the last question is, in the upcoming industry update, are we going to see any structures to improve or insist with mining? The main structure I would like to see uh, the base 
detection array or similar structure to upgrade the level of mining belts and clusters or a structure that helps to spawn regular random compressed mining belts and clusters. And the answer, we are currently have no plans to introduce any industry related corporation add on structure in the update. The industry update will focus on the release of the Noctis, Warkle, and Orca and their modules. Because, remember, the way you fix industry is by putting out capital ships. Right. And you guys think I'm laughing about this. Like, I'm joking. But I honestly think that is their mentality. Oh, oh yeah, just capital ships will fix industry. Not the whole insurance, you know, death null to, uh, to industry itself. But, you know. All right, if you haven't seen it in the game, if you t you know, tag your little assistant buddy there, you're gonna get the road to set sail. That's right, it's gonna be eight different levels of training, and what this is gonna net you is gonna net you some good things. Uh, Add it all up is about 150,000 skill points. It's gonna give you some uh, a skin, it's gonna give you about 100 IP, uh, and it's gonna give you about a thousand Concord points. Now, also, when you've completed all, you're gonna get the ship safe, uh, the ship safe, which is gonna give you, you know, a training cruiser. Because this is more designed, now, obviously, this is more designed for newer players, not us older players. Um, but you can't balk at the, it's gonna take you just a few minutes, maybe 15 minutes at most, and you get yourself 150,000 skill points. And who, who here doesn't want more skill points? You know, but for newer players, this is actually a really good deal. You're going to get some skin. Like I said, it's going to help you out with, you know, giving you your Concord points, some insurance points for those that don't know how to make money and, and, and do things in the game. It's going to net them 150,000 skill points where in the beginning as a new player, that is huge. Uh, and it's going to give them a new cruiser, a trainer cruiser that, uh, you know, free to them. So there you go. And we're going to finish off with your Plex Marker Report. Currently right now, Plex is at an all, is uh, moving up and has spiked up to 2.7 million per Plex. Sorry, I had to pause right there because as I always state, if you see cheap Plex, you buy it. And I just saw 500 Plex at 2.6, where the going right now is 2.720 or 2.747. So, you know, sorry, I snagged that up. But yes, when you see cheap Plex, buy it because the price, like I said before, is only going to keep going up, especially with events that use Plex to drive uh, unlocks and such. So, and that'll finish us out. And as I always say, if you need more news in your life, there's a few places I recommend you guys to check out. That's Sky News, Russia's premier news outlet with a great production team. Don't worry, all the videos have English subtitles. You have the ever, the legend Rambo with the uh, Echoes of New Eden podcast. Uh, his co-host Taylor makes for a great time. Now, if you always want to, if you want to listen to him live, every Thursday night you can join the Echoes of New Eden Discord and jump into the studio and listen live and partake in the chat as well as possibly get on and, and talk about a few things. Now, there's also the Blue Bulletin. That's PM Blue's uh, new site. Now, this is powered by Auxilaris, the uh, the uh, Killbot app across multiple discords because, you know, we don't have a actual fully functioning API. So this is the next best thing to it. And with that, I want you guys to have a great week. Have a great weekend. Fly safe. And remember, always, we are one vision, one purpose, one front. <laughs>